production needed. Uh, first and foremost, let's start this off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, and we do so by Hashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Why do I feel like this lighting is a little bit off, but it's all good. Today ain't about me today. It's about my nephews and nieces out there. Let's start this off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. And we do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. This is the Deacon Zakari. Today we're going to be talking about do Zakari Israelites reject Paul's writings? GM mess response. GM mess response, man. All praise to the Most High. Time for a day of good edification through the Spirit and power of the Most High. Um, I got my new clothing line on. You know what I mean? I know GMS been hating on my. Look at that. Ephesians 6 and 11. How are we going to reject Paul when we got Ephesians 6 and 11 on the, the, on the whole armor? You understand that? So anyway, um, we're going to talk about it today. Do Sakari Israelites reject Paul? Was Paul in error? Um, is Paul useless? Is he of the elect? This is Job 15 and 6. Thine own mouth condemneth thee, and not I. Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, I can push in this word with true sincerity, with charity. We are ready to live. Salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson. All right. And it's basically, um, you know, uh, what I want to do is uh, address this guy, um, Deacon Akka. And Deacon Akai, if you um, happen to get a hold of this video, uh, I want to ask you a question. And uh, I also want to bring you into remembrance about a statement that you made on the uh, Apostle Gabar's, um, uh, Apostle Gabar's comment board, okay? All right, second in command, okay? All right. And that statement was, because basically what happened was, um, the elder apostle Gabar asked you a question. All right, he asked you who replaced um, Judas as being one of the twelve. Who took his place? All right, and uh, also I believe he asked you uh, was Paul one of the twelve? And basically, what you said was that um, that Paul was one of the twelve. You said it was a deep breakdown. Now, we all know that's a mistake. You know that's a mistake that you made. You never addressed it. You never came out and said you made that mistake. You never owned up to it. You pretty much stayed mute about it. <laughs> but I remember, you know, and, uh, and I'm going to try to see, you know, if I can um, um, put this on the Elder Apostle Gabar's comment board and maybe he remembers as well. All right. So now you went from being the man that once believed that Paul was a one of the 12, man. All right. Which totally is a mistake, obviously. But it's just ironic that you went from actually making that statement, saying that Apostle Paul was one of the 12. And now your leader, uh, Alazar, is saying that he's under, that uh, his writings are unauthorized, have no authority. All right. And you obviously agreeing with that. Okay. Now, I haven't watched this whole video that I just played. I saw some of it. It was really too, a lot of it was too irritating to watch. You know, these guys are pretty much insufferable, you know, for us, you know, for the men that are in the spirit, you know, these guys are insufferable. But I remember you making that statement, man. All right, so I'm going to ask you right now, do you still believe that Paul is one of the 12? Because you never addressed it. You never came out and said that you made a mistake. All right. 
And, and if he's and if he and if you do believe that he's one of the twelve, then obviously his his words have to be authoritative. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you still believe that Apostle of Paul is one of the twelve? You know. And like the scripture I just read, your own mouth condemns you, man. Now I'm gonna grab a couple of scriptures. This is First Timothy three and one. This is a true saying: If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior. Doesn't mean you can't have multiple wives, by the way. All right, it's just a, it's just a suggestion if you want to, you know, pretty much um, hold that office without um, without. Uh, Distraction, okay. Vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, okay. <laughs> so we have to be apt to teach this word, man, directly and correctly, man. All right. Not given to wine, no striker, nor greedy or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, and covetous, or not covetous. You guys fit all these things, man, you know. In the past, you know, we've had um, well, a particular uh, member at that time was actually jumped by you niggas, man. All right. <laughs> or you sent some guys to the camp to, to jump a man that was in the camp at that time. All right. Not covetous. And you guys are covered in the spot of the apostles. One that ruleth his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of Yahweh? Not a novice, right? And, and and that's what you guys are, man. Lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil, right? You so that you're a novice lifted up with pride. In that incident, like uh, the, what I'm mentioning right now, the incident with Apostle Gabar. Apostle Gabar proved through the spirit with with uh, one question that you are a fucking novice, man. You were so puffed up and you just knew all this. The apostle asked you one question, man. He said, <laughs> who, re who replaced uh, uh, Judas uh, as one of the 12, man? You said Apostle Paul, man. He said, it's a deep breakdown. You fucking asshole, man. All right, yeah, and you never addressed it. You never said anything about it. You, you, you know, it's like you blew a fart on the elevator, man, and then and didn't own up to it, man. You know, <laughs> so you 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 you've been exposed a long time ago to be a damn novice, man. You you tripped over, <laughs> you tripped over a, a now and later packet, man. Uh, you you tripped over a a, um, a a stick of gum, man. You know, and, and and what you guys are doing, whether unbeknownst or not, you know, to yourself, you're you're straining at a gnat and swallowing a camel, man. <laughs> you guys just ain't got it, man. You can't see the forest for the trees, man. <laughs> you know. So again, I ask you, do, you know, if you if you well, I'm pretty sure you do remember that ass whooping, the spiritual ass whooping that the Apostle Gabar gave you, man. I remember it. It was a first round knockout, you know, so to speak. That one question he asked you, man, exposed your ass, man. Okay, for being the novice that you are, you know, you're unruly children, man. Uh, your your uh, child left to yourself that's becoming willful, that became willful, man. You know, and your leader is a horse not broken, man. Al Alizé, man. You know, chief high priest, exalted grand pooba, man. You know, <laughs> it's just funny because here it is. You, you at one time said out of your own mouth, man, you know, or on the comic board, or, or out of your own keyboard, <laughs> that Apostle Paul was one of the 12, man. 
And now his writings ain't authoritative, man. Authoritative, man. You know, and the brothers are going to dissect that video some more because I saw a few things. I've seen a um, couple of videos the brothers have done. Uh, you know, I just haven't had the stomach to totally sit through it yet. And hopefully um, I do. Or I just, um, you know, land back off whatever brother that does go through it if I if I just don't end up doing it. You know, but you guys are going to be exposed in, um, hold on. Yeah, this is, um, second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves. The, this is very, <coughs> this personifies you niggas, man. Man, look at my clothing line, man. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, and that's what you niggas are, man. You're blasphemeing the the, the, the holy the, uh, the the scriptures, man. All right, disobedient to parents, and that's exactly what the hell you are. You're disobedient to your parents, man. You know with your spiritual fathers, which whether you believe that you can have spiritual fathers or not, it doesn't matter. You know, Paul said, or I, I begot you uh, by the word, roughly paraphrasing. You know, the scripture says, let us praise famous, famous men and our fathers that have begotten us. Those are the righteous men. Those are the ones who have taught us, us this truth, man. All right unthankful, unholy, all this, all these things fit you niggas, man, without natural affection, okay, without, without natural affection, because really all these traits, man, are the traits of a faggot, man, they, they, they really are, man, you know, all these traits, you know, faggot is just, uh, it's not just one demon, man, it's not one spirit, it, it's a multiple spirit, it's a, it's a, it's a, it comes in packs, man. That spirit won't even inhabit you if it can't bring its friends, man. All right, it, it, you know that's the the way that spirit works is it ain't it no fun if the homies can't have none. All right, those spirits come um, with a multitude of of spirits, man. And I'm reading all the traits, you know. If these, you know, you could give these spirits a name where this is what I'm unholy. I'm unthankful. I'm disobedient. I'm blasphemer. I'm a boaster. I'm covetous. All right. I'm the lover of myself. These are all titles of demons, man. And you guys have them all dripping off you, man. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. Right. Yeah. You know. And they, they, they run with that pedophile narrative as well. Because you all some bitch-made-ass niggas, man. You know, and, 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 you know, the little that I did see about uh, of this lesson, these niggas did a lot of deflecting, man. They did a lot of... This nigga did a lot of uh, deflecting. This nigga had a lot of straw man arguments, man. Things that have nothing to do with what we're addressing, man. We are addressing what you what you motherfuckers have been saying about Apostle Paul, man. That is the point of, of, of this, man. Not the shit that you're talking about, man. All right? Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. All right? Traitors, heady. Yeah, yeah, you're a traitor, man. You're enemies of the cross, man. Heady. Heady. Oh, my God. If hey Alize, if, if Hetty was a person, man, big head ass nigga, man, high minded, man. These these guys they exude all these traits, man. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. We saw that on the pat on their Passover, man, when they had those hoes. All right, having a form of godliness, yeah, they looked the part. They could put on a garment. They could break down a scripture or two. But denying the power thereof from such turn away. And what do they teach? 
they teach you that you don't have to bow to Yahweh Shai, man. They teach that you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All right. Well, when the scriptures tell you all creation was put under subject of him, man, what do you think that means, man? All creation is under him, man. Now. All right. Every everybody in heaven except for Yahweh himself is bowing to him right now, man. So you're saying that you're authority of every oh my God. You, you niggas You really gotta just breathe with these niggas, man. For for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins. And what we're seeing, bitches all on the comment boards. Uh, defending these niggas, man. All right, and, uh, because these are one of these, another one of these camps that are they push a fucking queen of heaven vibe too, man. This nigga put on a hat with it says black love, black. What the fuck is black love? What the fuck does that even mean, man? Well, first of all, we're not black people. You you bitch, nigga. All right, you know, <laughs> yeah. You know, Salakia for my, you know, zeal, you know, please excuse me. You know. But the Lord said he was going to um, create enmity. Well, not enmity. Well, uh, not, you know, I, I'm not trying to use that scripture, but the Lord is going to basically break up <laughs> the union between the Israelite man and the Israelite woman. We're basically enemies right now. All right. Pursuing Micah the seventh chapter, man. She who is my enemy, man. The nigga woman is our enemy. There's no fucking black love. But you love darkness. Because, you know, so you, you that that hat fits you, man. Black love. You love darkness. Men who love darkness, man. For this sort of day which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning, never able to come and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, right? And that's the type of spirit these niggas push, man. A spirit of debate. You know? The spirit of just debating uh, uh, points that just are just not, you know, very much relevant to the times we're in, man. You know? Of course you want to study to show yourself and approve and know these things, man. What the scripture says, by the world, uh, by not Yahweh, man. You know, by 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 knowledge, the Lord, these people, the, the earth, the world believes that they outsmarted Yahweh by Shem Shah, and you niggas do too, man. You niggas have a worldly uh, way of of uh, reasoning when it comes to uh, these scriptures, man, and how they apply. You know, or even the spiritual aspects of them, man. You know. You have a very meathead, animalistic, carnal way uh, of um, of, of um, viewing these things, man. All right. Now, as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, which these were two basically warlocks, man. All right. And you niggas are, are, are warlocks, man. Scripture says rebellion is as the sin of witch witchcraft. Man. You niggas are witches, man. And warlocks, man. And the Lord is not going to suffer your ass to live very soon, man. See, what we're feeling in, in the spirit, man, is the Lord is getting ready to uh, cut this shit off, man. Matter of fact, let me keep reading. So do these also, uh, so do these also resist the truth? Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, right? And you niggas are reprobates, man. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. All right? So your folly is going to be uh, uh, known throughout the whole congregation. Y'all about Shem Yashah is going to judge you niggas openly, man. Just like he did Core, Dathan, and Abiram, man. I wouldn't be surprised if that them three niggas in leadership are those very men, man. I will, you know. I believe Kor was a Levite, man. You know, and, and, and Alazar, you you claim to be a Levite, right? You know, 
you know, when you want to do all this boasting and being a Levite, yeah, you could be a Levite. Don't you know that there was wicked Levites that was enemies of Yahweh? Don't you know Yahweh Bashem Yahshai has enemies that are that were Levites, man? You know? You could even be of, of the priesthood of Aaron, like you say you is, you know, which there's no no possible way to prove that. Let's say you are. Not all of those were good. Not everybody that came out of the loins of Aaron was all good with Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Some of them was niggas, man. Don't you know that? <laughs> but yeah, you guys are, 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 are proud, lifted up and puffed up and you can't even see the forest for the trees, man. All right. You know, it's because it's talking about these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil to things they understand not. And a, and a brute beast, a beast doesn't know he's going to be slaughtered. Okay. A beast is just walking. He don't know he's getting led to, to slaughter. That's what the Lord is doing, man. You know? But yeah, to go back to my original point, do do you do you still believe Apostle Paul? Do you still believe that Apostle Paul is one of the twelve Deacon Haka? This is a question to you, man. All right. Do you still believe that? And for any brothers that remember that, you know, you know, remind these niggas that that nigga said that, man. You know, you said that, bro. All right. <laughs> you still believe that? Because you never addressed it. You never said anything about it. Or when when when, when Apostle Gabar laughed your ass to scorn, <laughs> and the comment boy laughed your ass to scorn for that novice mistake. See, see what the fuck you use is parlor tricks, man. You niggas use goddamn parlor tricks and and uh um what do you call it uh you guys use the debate tactics man you can't use debate tactics on the spirit it's not gonna work man you know deflecting and trying to smear look man address what the hell we're we're, we're, we're talking about man all right and what you can expect is the, the plagues to come upon your ass, man. Because I just read it, man. It says they shall proceed no further. Let me read that last part. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 9. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. Right. As Christian says, uh, whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses, teaching things that they are not for filthy lucre's sake. Because that's all, hey, you guys best, you guys definitely believe gain is godliness, man. All right? But what we're feeling through the spirit here at Great Millstone is, and the reason why these things are being addressed, even Nate, you know, I'm thinking about the dream the brother had about Nate. All these things are telling me through the spirit personally that the Lord is getting ready to put a fucking end to a lot of you niggas' bullshit, man. As the scripture says, judgment is going to begin at his house, man. So he's going to stop you, you niggas' mouths, man. He's going to shut you up, man. Because really, you niggas are just stumbling blocks, man. All right. And what the Lord said he's going to do, man. Matter of fact, let me grab it. Scripture, man. All right. Because the Lord's not gonna, you niggas and you niggas trip over small shit, man. Like you really do, man. Like somebody fucking flicked a booger on the floor and you you tripped over it and died, man. And you don't even know you did, man. You still think you're going to gym practice, man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, this is Isaiah 57 and 14. And she'll say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, which is what the men of the Lord are doing. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. So that's what Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai is setting us up to do. And that's what Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai is going to ultimately do. He's going to remove you stumbling blocks out of the way of his people, man. All right, because you are an impediment. 
All right, you niggas are uh, are an impediment, man. You niggas are not on the way to the kingdom. You're not going to the kingdom. Uh, um, as far as your walk is concerned, that's not the way you're going. You're going in a whole nother direction. You got a whole nother blueprint and a whole nother map, and you're leading people the wrong way because you have no plan on going there anyway. You know? <laughs> The scriptures talk about how they uh, shut up the way to the kingdom, uh, to the kingdom, and neither did they uh, enter in their cells, man. So the Lord is going to remove you niggas, man. And we're coming to the point where that's about to happen, and we can all feel it, man. The Lord is getting ready to open the ground on you niggas again, probably, man. You know. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got, man. Um, so yeah, Deacon Haka, man. Do you still believe Apostle Paul is one of the 12? Because I ain't forget that, man. You know, I haven't heard brothers mention that in a while, but I remember you, remember it, man. You know, it's just ironic he went from saying, making that statement and believing it, uh, or, or whether you believed it or not, because really I believe it was just a mistake you made. You just didn't own up to it. But you still said it, nigga. So do you believe that? So so now Apostle Paul is not a not an authority. All right. You know, even though the Lord said he's a chosen vessel unto me, you know, <laughs> that all that goes out the window, you know. But I digress, man. You know, the hell with you niggas, man. The Lord's gonna make a public example out you niggas very soon, man. Feel it coming in the air tonight. All right. Because you niggas are an eyesore and a vexation, man. But hey, as the scripture I read, you shall proceed no further, man. The Lord's going to stop your mouths, man. So, hey, so with that, I'd like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Makakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Salutations to you, Akin, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to deliver sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. Shalom. Juan Yasharala.